Shalom, it's Rabbi David Barron with my Torah talk. I hope all of you are enjoying these brief messages of inspiration taken from our Torah, from the Bible, and that you send them on to family and friends and anyone you come into contact with who you think may be elevated by hearing these messages. Please join us Friday night, November 11th, at Via Aloro on the back patio for a wonderful Shabbat service, a sumptuous Italian meal, and a service led by myself, Cantor Nathan Lamb, and our music director, Sharon Farber. Uh, make your reservations through the office, but come on down, join us for this and all of the exciting November events at the Temple of the Arts, and there are many of them. Uh, at the end of the month, during Thanksgiving weekend, we'll be holding a special Shabbat in our temple home, the Saban Theater, led by myself, Cantor Alicia Pierce, and our music director, Sharon Farber. So there are many opportunities awaiting you. We just hope you'll join us. And if you're out of town receiving this, uh, know that we send our best wishes to you and we'll be live streaming many of our events so you can be with us even if you can't be with us physically. This week's Torah portion is one of the important ones in the book of Genesis. It's called Lech Lecha, go forth. Literally the words Lech Lecha means go into yourself. In other words, try something new, strike out, in a new direction. Think and go outside of the box. That's what Abraham had to do. He had to leave behind his homeland and his father's idol worship and come into a new place, a new consciousness. Sometimes it means letting go of things that we get very comfortable with. You know, the human condition, according to some, many people have that basic condition of laziness. They don't want to change what's around them. If they're used to going to one spot for the vacation, this particular hotel in Hawaii or wherever it may be, that's where they want to go every year. And when we go outside of our normal circumstances and situations, we have new encounters, new experiences, we grow in new ways, but it requires encouraging yourself to go within. And the words of the Torah portion say, Lech Lecha, go to you, go to yourself, to your inner self, your spiritual core, and according to the Kabbalah, it means letting go of your physical components, the sense of sight and smell and taste, all of the things that too often cloud what our pure spiritual essence is about. So if you're motivated by something, take action, do it. Many of us have gotten lazy during the COVID years and have stopped coming to synagogue. I want you to come and join us physically, not just digitally. And I want you to be a part of the experience that we all share together. That encourages and uplifts us in special ways that you can't really accomplish online. Online is a blessing for many who can't get to the synagogue. I feel the same is true of voting. You know, to me, voting isn't just a privilege, it's a duty. And that's why I feel the only way I will ever vote, unless I'm out of the country or out of state, is by coming physically to a poll and casting my vote and being a part of the democratic process. To me, that elevates me as a citizen, and it says I'm taking part in this great experiment, the American democracy that's given so much to humanity. Another important area that I'm concerned about that I wanna share with you is the plight of the women of Iran and all of those who are protesting the death of a young girl for simply not wearing her shador properly. The Iranian, brutal Iranian police um, arrested her, beat her, and she died. And protests surged throughout Iran. And we have to join with those who are protesting against the brutality of this regime that wants to destroy the state of Israel, that foments acts of violence and terrorism around the globe. What do we do? Do we sit back and just observe these events? No, we have to become a part of them. So join a protest demonstration. Write to your congressman or congresswomen and say, we want the rights of women in Iran upheld. And if you belong to women's rights organizations or human rights organizations, call them, contact them, and urge them to be a part of this movement. We have to step outside of ourselves, our comfort zone, our tendency to be apathetic, or to be concerned while observing something but never taking action. Abraham moved. He got off his referendum took his family and moved into the promised land. It was an unknown. It was an experience that he wasn't sure what awaited him.
but all of us have the opportunity to take that journey, that journey that goes within and goes to a new place. Many of us find that difficult to do, but when we're challenging ourselves to grow, only positive things can emerge. I hope we can take that message to heart on this Shabbat and that it brings you comfort and it brings you a sense of higher consciousness, which we all strive for. Shabbat Shalom.